y'all it's shaquita here welcome or welcome back to my channel let's get right into it those are the products that you guys will need to do this style so this style is very simple um this is for my moms who wants to do something quick <clears throat> and y'all excuse my voice i'm so sorry i'm under the weather but this is for moms who want to do something quick to their uh, child's hair or whoever hair you doing <laughs> um <clears throat> quick and easy style i do let's start off with the parts i do the free parts because i find that it's easy um for beginners and it's just faster instead of trying to make sure square parts are even and all that good jazz so i'm going to show you this step here a few times i do start with braiding the reg you know just braiding the hair um down a little bit and then adding that lock in and then braiding some more so here you'll see me do that i braid it down added the lock on one strand you know there's three strands adding the lock on one strand and then continuing to braid that down a little more okay so i'm gonna show you again add your product to the hair section three sections braid down not too tight um but just you know braid down a little bit and you're only braiding down a little bit so that way um well you're only braiding down and adding that hair on one screen so that way it's not as bulky at the start of the lock at the scalp you don't want it bulky so um i found that this makes the lock more um knotless or seamless so just do that all over first and look at my baby covering her face girl nobody is worried about you <laughs> um okay so there you have it again <clears throat> Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't need to even be talking. I sound horrible. And so I'm going to show you one more time, okay? Pay attention. Okay, so you see that I've done a few already. Um, and when you braid the hair down after you add on the lock, you don't have to braid down as far as I did. Um, I don't know why I braided that much. <clears throat> Excuse me. But so you don't have to braid down as far. So now let's go into um, actually wrapping that lock and um, the braid. So you see um, here, I'm showing you just an example of if you wanted to go short um because you know some people's hair is too long for the length that they want the lock to be so you'll just crochet the end of the hair up um on the braid so that way you're not cutting the hair um and it's the length that you need in this case she wants like a long bob so it will just wrap it a little bit longer than her hair Okay, you want to start by opening that crochet hook and then just taking the hair, pulling it through. And I like to, um, that shorter piece, I like to have a short piece and a long piece. That shorter piece, I like to make um, the same length as the hair, as the um, real hair. 
I like to make it either that length or a little bit longer so that way it's sort of a guide for me to know you know how far down I need to wrap um, when I start wrapping <clears throat> I'm, I'm so sorry about my voice. When I start wrapping, because I'm right-handed, I think I wrap to the right. <clears throat> it's just easier for me. So I wrap about uh, three or four times at the root before I start moving down. And I do that so that way it doesn't slip. Um, and also what helps it not slip is um, because we crochet the hair through the braid instead of just taking the hair and starting to wrap. So we're gonna just keep working our way down, making sure that you um, overlay the hair. So as you're wrapping, you're overlaying that last part. And then here's what I do to make it uh, look kinda, I guess, distressed. I'll grab like a small piece of the hair. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna do it again. I'll grab a small piece of the hair. Um, hair, hair it is, yeah and just, just like loosely wrap. So that way it gives it a messy look. I've seen some people like use their thumb um, to make a loop and things like that. And I find that that is so hard. It's easier just to do it like that. And so when you're almost at the end, there you see me uh, make a knot. So you would tie it a small knot, um, making sure you're not tying the real hair, the natural hair <clears throat> in that knot. <clears throat> and then, Y'all, I'm so sorry. Am I even going to leave this on here? Because I sound horrible. Nobody wants to hear this. I'm sorry. Um, But we got to get it done. We got to get this video done. <laughs> My baby has a whole new hairstyle at this point. But so you're going to keep wrapping down until you pass the natural hair. So you keep checking to see where that hair is. Because you don't want to cut the hair. Okay? Don't cut it. So... You're gonna go past it. Keep wrapping, wrapping, wrapping until you all the way see. You can still see the hair. So you're gonna pass that and then you're gonna knot it at, at the end. I don't think I recorded uh, when I cut them so you'll see um, the finish look so I hope this was helpful let me know if you guys have any questions and here she goes I think this style was about three days old when she did this video it lasted her about six weeks so that was good um, Super simple, super easy. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Talk to you soon. Bye.